of a, a urban legend uh, for what he does. And then uh, one of my students actually turned me on to some of his fights uh, and the style itself. So I got uh, got intrigued by what they were doing. I love the idea of, you know, just sort of a uh, freestyle stand-up experience. Burmese boxing, that's what they called it at the time. That's how I got introduced to it. And kind of forgot about it. You know, this is something that you go like, huh? You, you kind of know this is not going to continue, you know, with the world we live in, you, you believe that. And then suddenly Dave LeDuc came along, you know, and I started getting my attention and I started watching some fights and I go, man, this guy is really good. And then I had the pleasure of him visiting me uh, at my gym. He came over with his wife and uh, we had a workout together and uh, I, I was very impressed. Like I, I'm telling the people, this is, this is the hardest elbows I've ever felt. And I hold, hold past for a lot of people in my life, but uh, uh, this was a, a whole different level of elbows. Well, I love Letway to begin with. I've been, I, I've loved that sport for a long time, but I just uh, come across him on uh, Instagram and started following him and started uh, messaging him. And uh, we, we became friends, a lot of respect for each other. Um, just, uh, I like what he's all about. He's hardcore and uh, he's not afraid to stick his head in there. Two men walk into the ring and one man literally will be leaving, right? So yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm very excited to see how it all plays out. Both fighters are very high level, you know, but I think uh, you know, Dave's got that reach. He's got that natural uh, flow from punching, kicking knee and and, and you know, headbutting. So I'm, I'm very, very excited to, you know, to be watching this, uh, this event. Latvia is also a certain style. You fight a certain style and so, suddenly Dave comes along and he just starts mixing it up different than other people do. And if you're different than others, you will be successful. Some people just have that, that bravado, that, you know, that desire sort of to be in the firefight. And that's what I see from him. A lot of people, you know, it's, it's a natural human reaction to sort of move away from these things and to, to blink and to block and to, you know, save yourself. Um, but he just, you know, wades right through that stuff in a very tactile fashion. I think that's, you know, it's something everyone wants to have, but <laughs> very few people actually have it.